So I, I'm not sure that this, I, I, whether to go into this or not, but if we want to understand as a instructional leader, how do you influence the faculty? How do you influence the faculty? So we know that one of the most important ways that, that the administrator can improve quality of learning for students is by supporting the learning of the teachers. Say that in Vietnamese. Uh, ý của thầy nói là để mà ảnh hưởng đến đến cái cái việc học đó, thì mình phải phải ảnh cái việc dạy và của giáo viên luôn. Ở đây là instruction để đến cái cái người mà hiệu trưởng giống như là một cái mô đồ một cái mô đồ một cái biểu tượng và phải phải làm luôn. Ta phải cùng làm với giáo viên luôn chứ không phải là chỉ thầy làm nó. Because mostly the the, the administrator is not teaching. Even I taught. Even I told you I was teaching. But I only taught two classes or three classes and we had in one term 100 classes. So my teaching doesn't have any much impact on the students. How do I have a good impact effect on the students? By supporting the learning of my teachers. I don't even think that most administrators are aware of that. I don't think most principals or most deans are even aware of that. So let me say it again. The most important way that an administrator can influence the learning of students is through the learning of the teachers. And by supporting the learning of the teachers, you can improve the teaching practices. And by improving the teaching practices, you can improve student learning. But notice, there is no line, there's no line here, no arrow from administrator to student here no direct line nothing here Boop. no everything is through the teacher and that's so that's why we call instructional leadership because if you want to have positive impact on the learning of students the best way to do it is by supporting the learning of teachers. <clears throat> I want to go back for a second and talk about, well, maybe I don't want to talk about that. All right, so uh, yeah. About teacher agency, yeah, okay, so that's a very good question. But I will. <laughs> so let's go back here. If I ask most educators, most teachers and principals, where, how does the administrator influence the teacher learning? They'll say the most important thing is trust. Okay. I need trust. The teachers need to trust each other and they need to trust me. So I have to build a climate of trust. That's what many think. You agree? Yeah, okay. But it turns out that trust has a fairly weak effect. One plus means weak effect. Two plus me two means kind of moderate effect and three means big effect. Okay. So the question was, what do I mean by agency? Agency is that the teachers have some control. So we talked about teacher learning before, right? So that the teachers have some control over what they want to learn. Not it just come down from the ministry. You're going to learn this this year, right? But they, they have agency is I can have some effect. 
Agency is also a sense among the teachers that they can influence their colleagues. A sense among the teachers that they can influence where the school is going. Not just, I come to work and, you know, no. Remember mouse? No. I just, powerless. No influence. Okay. So, if you look at this, you see the administrator can have a big effect on teacher trust. You know that, right? I had a boss, I never, tr I didn't trust him at all. Right? And uh, uh, that meant he could not influence me much to go in, in his direction. You know, I, I kind of go very slowly, something like that, you know? And, uh, or come on here, come here. My boss, my boss wants me to go. That's the direction. No, come here, come here. That's the direction that my boss wants me to go. So take me, take me with you. Go on, take me with you. No trust, no trust. Am I going? Yes, but very hard to get me to go. Okay, you have trust. Okay, much easier, less resistance. Okay. Now, but <clears throat> in order for trust to have a big impact on teacher learning, it mu you must all teachers must also have a sense that when they make an effort, it will have impact in the school and that they can influence what they're going to learn. You know, you, someone tells you, you need to learn this. Maybe you don't agree, I'm not really interested, but you know, you have, what, what's our school gonna focus on this year? Okay. You have some sense of agency. So you put these together, that's how you get the impact. Trust by itself, no. Trust by itself, no. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
On, on their colleagues, on the colleagues and on the direction of their school. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, yeah, this is, you can think of as empowerment. Okay. Uh, but although, although you see the leader can have big impact on trust, you know, but trust is something very strange because I give you the example. When I came to the college and I did the audit and then they said, would you please try to, I was executive director. So uh, can you fix it? Go the right way. And at the beginning, everything's so disorganized. And, but I had done the quality audit, so I knew I could see the problems. And at that time, most of our teachers were part-time, not full-time faculty. At the very, this is at the very beginning of the college. So this teacher comes from one university. This teacher come from another, this come from another, they come from another, and they're all teaching marketing the core course, first course in marketing. So when she comes to teach her class in marketing, what does she teach? She teaches what they teach at her university. She teaches what they teach at her university. So depends on which class you are in, you get very different course, right? So to me, and, and even the students, taking your class, talk to her friend who's taking your class, and they go, not same. And so uh, in the beginning, I didn't have trust. I didn't have uh, uh, things disorganized. So I made a decision myself. So you can call this power. You use your position power I had the power in my position and I said all of you teachers will have to get together and teach the same course so you have to meet decide you know how you're going but the same textbook same assessment you might think well yeah but that's quite normal but that's not how it was right how do you think the teachers like this not like it at all because they come to our college to teach and go home, right? They don't want to come to a meeting they, and they want to teach what they teach. They don't want to learn something different. So, uh, so there was some resistance and maybe she says, no, I'm not going to teach for you anymore. But, but I will shock you. At that time, if you came to teach for us, all right. Uh, 
uh, outside. So if you came to teach for us, you teach three hours, you get $350 US. One class, three hours, not one semester, 350. One Tuesday night, you come to teach from six to nine, 350, 25 years ago. New, new, new lamp. So the teachers actually, they don't really want to leave because maybe you're teaching two classes for us. So every month, uh, uh, six hours, six, six, six hundred, seven hundred. Every, every month you're making, you know, a lot of money. <laughs> Maybe more than you make in your regular job. You know? So sometimes you have to make certain decisions even without everyone's agreement. <laughs> 